Watch the numbers and please your banker. Number 23, useful ratios to follow. Keep to a minimum to avoid confusion. Number 1, acid test. Divide cash and near cash by current liabilities. The best ratio should be near 1 to 1. A figure below 1 may mean falling liquidity. A figure above 1 may suggest you're not using funds very well. Number 2. Current ratio. Divide current assets by current liabilities. The best ratio should be near 2 to 1. This is a better measure than the acid test of your ability to meet your long-term obligations. Number 3. Receivables turnover. Divide sales by receivables. Shows how well your credit and collection is working. If it is going up, it shows you're collecting better. Or sales are rising. If it is going down, sales or collecting needs attention. Be aware of any seasonality activities. Another business tip from Learn Accounting Fast. Next, ratio analysis continues.